It's a new product release from Yamaha, a new addition to their Arius line, the YDP S35, S standing for slim. Let's check it out. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in downtown San Antonio, Texas. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, check out our other videos, sign up for notifications, like our videos, leave us comments. We appreciate your support and we love to interact with you. The Arius line. It's been around for a while. And it, you know, it was created as uh, an entry price point to, you know, sometimes the uh, you know, the Yamaha Clavinova is, is sometimes a, a, an unobtainable price range for some people. Right. And, uh, you know, usually starts off right around that $2,000 price point. Um, and so Yamaha, you know, was like, hey, let's create something that's Clavinova light. Well, you know, when the Arias first came out, they looked like this. And then as the Clavinovas got more sophisticated, well, the Arias started looking like the entry-line Clavinovas. Mm -hmm. And so now they come out with a new product that looks like the thing originally looked like when it first came out. Well, it looks a little different. And yeah, they were smaller. They only just had like the flip up uh, music, music rest right. and, uh, you know, just a little bit more, you know, thinner, smaller. But really in today's, in today's world, people like that minimalist look. I'll tell you what, in terms of functionality and price, this thing, this is what I like about this. The first one I sold, and this reminded me of it when it came in, I sold to a college student who was a piano student, really kind of an advanced player, but he was going to use it as his desk. He was, in a, he was out to purchase a desk and a piano, mm -hmm. or an electric piano for his, his dorm room, and after I showed him this, because he said, look, I just need, if it makes a noise, that's great, but if it's got something like a real piano action, I can do my scales, my exercises, and I can memorize new gear because I'm always in the practice studios on the pianos, but at home is where I memorize my stuff, and I can use it as a desk, is what he said. He came back a couple years later and said that was the smartest, most useful, functional thing he ever bought at that point. It was one of his first purchases. Mm -hmm. He was moving out. And, but uh, I've oft, often mentioned that to people. Hey, if it's going in a dorm room or in their room at home, it's all, it can also function as a desk. Yeah, and so I think that, uh, you know, that idea with a small footprint is is, a, is like a win. It's a win combination because, like you said, whether it's a dorm room or an apartment, it's not going to take up a lot of space. It has uh, the pedals, the three pedal unit connected to it, so you don't have to worry about buying a, a sustain pedal right. or buying different pedals to to be able to use sustenuto or a quiet pedal. It has the functionality there. It has the right height. Um, and really it's just, it's ready to play right out the of the box. ergonomics are perfect. And so yeah, you're ready to go right out of the box. You put it together like a piece of Ikea furniture um, and like you just showed it, it closes up very nicely. It kind of opens like an acoustic piano. It has the foldable um, uh, key, music desk. Yeah, the it. music desk and the key flap uh, open and close so you can mm -hmm. put your, your music on it and balance it. Uh, just, you know, a nice little simple design. Uh, 10 voices in, in there. 10 basic simple voices. I think there's three pianos. The one I liked the most, I think, was the third one. Okay. Because it had a lot of bright, crisp clarity to it. The mm -hmm. others just sounded a little, um, I don't know, I don't want to say dark or muddy, but they just weren't as, you know, brilliant to me. Okay. And so I know brightness. they use the CFX sample. It's one of the older versions of the right. CFX sample, but they have it on this Arius, the S35. Let's take a listen to those voices. Ted's going to play through the 10 voices, and we'll come back and talk about a couple more features whether this thing can record or not, and uh, you know, we'll just we'll, we'll highlight what action is being made. It's the GH3, but we'll talk about what that feels like from a pianist's perspective. Um, so stick around. We're going to listen to it here.
The one thing I can say, even though it's an entry line, is that it plays pretty consistently, but there isn't really any kind of noticeable fancy thing with the... It's a hammer thing that you play on. I think it's a graded hammer keyboard. Yeah, the GH3 is what they call but, it. But uh, it's not like, you know, the super high-end digitals or th th that we we do, but it's very functional. You nope. can get your skills, your scales, and your, um, you know, your exercise on it. And it's great to help memorize, you know, with that muscle memory. So the pieces. graded hammers, you know, will start heavier in the bass section and gets lighter as you move up. Uh, and just like a real piano, the right. hammers are heavier as you move. Um, down to the bass section and get slider as you move up. When we were demoing it, we realized, hey, there is no bench here. So do you want to correct ourselves? <laughs> yeah. It, the, it's the only YDP of, of the YDP series, um, all the way from the 144 all the way up to the 165, the 185. They all come with a bench, but the S series doesn't. The S35 does not come with a bench. It does not come with a bench. So we stand corrected. There is no bench in here. It comes in a real slim box, too. So I should have I should just realized that the box was too skinny to The other the thing I didn't realize is I think the older YDPs had a regular closed lid, like a slam lid. This one here has that soft closed lid on it. It has a I, soft close, which is nice. Yeah. We'll show we'll show that because it's just it's it will save your kids' fingers or your fingers if you're trying to close it real quick. Or if it which accidentally flips over. It's yeah. one it's one of the things that happens so often on grand pianos um, and upright pianos. If you're not mm -hmm. careful, the lid will shut and you know. Hurt your fingers, down. and then yeah. you can't play. You you yeah. have an excuse not to practice, practice. For, for a couple <laughs> for a month. Um, but uh, but yeah, the S thirty five ten voices. We went through them. Uh, has uh, two eight watt speakers, so not not anything crazy substantial. Um, the upgraded model does have a little bit better speakers, and we'll be reviewing that as well. Comes in black, comes in white. Um, really, I think it's just trying to attack that modern slim look. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Roland I think did hit it out of the park with their F seven hundred ones. Um, and, and Yamaha, you know, was kind of creating an answer here at eleven ninety nine. that price point of, you know, it's, it's getting a, a highly functional unit that has the pedals, has the design, uh, will get you more than started, um, and has the great CFX sample, which we did demo. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's functional in a room, 16 watts combined power, so you do get enough volume, uh, but it's not, you know, it's not a highly advanced instrument. It's something that you can right. grow with and, and then hopefully upgrade at some point. Um, so, any feedback on, so you said the action, it was, it's nothing special, but it gets the job done. It's nothing special, but it gets the job done. Okay, That's yeah. probably the best way to put it, because the whole this whole product line is designed on being nothing special, but get the job done. Uh -huh. all, you know, check off all the boxes. And it fits nicely and in the corner. Nice. And actually, it, I mean, I would have loved to have had one of these things at any time in, in my past life to just have it set aside to just practice on. Because a lot of times I practice with the volume off so really it might be good for an office too if you it if you is. have a piano at home and you're looking for uh, uh, an oh. instrument in the office they here's can just your turn desk to. and you can turn right around and then go through some scales while you're on hold or something mm -hmm. you know, that, so it's great. a really cool product again really just functional in the size of it um, and the feature set uh, comes in at 11.99 and uh, is new for 2022 it is replacing the the previous the s34 uh, which i think was originally the product launch of the slim models from yamaha um but yeah, just a, a great instrument. If you've owned part of their uh, YDP S series, or if you're thinking about purchasing, please leave com comments. Uh, if you've played it before in a uh, in a showroom, uh, let us know what you guys think because you know this is a place where we can help people make decisions, and hopefully they make the right ones. Uh, and usually, when you're buying an instrument, you're making the right decision because you're putting in your effort and time right. into saying I'm gonna I'm gonna be learning. So. Uh, the S35, we will be re reviewing its bigger brother, the S55, so make sure you are subscribed to check out that video. Um, we'll also probably compare the two of them um, in a comparison video. Thank you guys for watching. This is Ted Barcelou. I'm Patrick Marr with Alamo Music in San Antonio. Find us online at alamomusic.com. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>